welcome to more Pokemon Scarlet. We ended off last episode surrounded by Slowpoke. A lot of Pokemon we can capture out here. I was getting a little bit overwhelmed by it, but I think we're gonna just, we're just gonna get to it. We're gonna capture all these crutters. We have Slowpoke. Over there is Sandy Gast. In the water with some cute looking dolphin Pokemon. We are about to get loaded up on Pokemon. And then we'll go check out the Pokedex and see how many rewards we can get. Because I think we might be able to get one or even two of them. So let's go ahead and smack this guy and get started with our first capture of the day. Critical hit. If that was a critical... Never mind. I was going to say I could probably do a second wing attack and not kill him. But now I can't do wing attack. So we're going to just go for a Pokeball. It's just a slow poke, right? This should not be that hard to capture. So we'll hold down B for the first of many times today, I'm sure. And it didn't work. Well, <laughs> we got we to gotta knock off the rust a little bit here. It's going to take us a couple tries to uh, get those good B presses. Okay, for real this time. Holding down B, we're going to capture this slow poke so easy. Please, game. Please. There we go. Okay, second time is the charm. Dude, we're about to catch like four Pokemon before we move on here. We got quite a bit of an area to explore as we're working our way towards the first of the Team Star bases. Registered. It is incredibly slow and dopey. It takes five seconds for it to feel pain when under attack. Wow. Um... Let's just put a let's just put an extra O in there. There we go. Ooh, we might need to capture two though because there's slow bro and slow king. I'll worry about that another time though. Right now, I want to worry about catching this stinking dolphin Pokemon. This is new, right? Like, I don't recognize this guy at all. Finizen, <laughs> dude. Okay, we're gonna go for wing attack again, but I'm excited. This guy is cute as heck. Wow. Oh, he's gonna go for dive. So they're gonna hide under water. But we hit that guy hard, so they're probably more of an attacker, not so much a uh, defensive Pokemon. We're going to go for Detect just to absorb this one this one little attack right here. So we'll never get to see their true power level. Magikarp flopping into the mountain back there, trying to jump over it, but it's not working. Keep on trying, Magikarp. Okay, I'm going to be a bit greedy. Dude, that Magikarp is going! Where'd he go? I'm going to be greedy and try for the Pokeball here. And it actually works out. Another Magikarp in the background. Oh, Magikarp's still there. You know what? This one, we're not going to give it a nickname. But we will say registered. It likes playing with others of its kind using the water ring on its tail. It uses ultrasonic waves to sense the emotions of other living creatures. Okay, we're going to skip on a nickname for that one. I think Finizen's a pretty cool name already. Does that one evolve? I have no idea, but it might. Okay, we're going to leave that Magikarp alone. We'll just let him keep on flopping. But I did see a Gyarados out in the water. The frame rate out here is very low. I love that we can walk on the shallow water here. We don't need any more Finizen. How far can we go before the game says we can't swim anymore? That is what I need to know here. Is that a Remoraid out there? Might not be. It's hard to tell. If we could get to this island, I would do it. But I'm... Yeah, as soon as we get to the deep water, we can't go. So that is the main reason I'm heading towards another titan battle that is kind of like the grand arc of this chapter of our adventure is yes we're going to the team star base we're going to another gym but the main thing we're trying to get to is the titan because i want to get the ability to go across this water we go to the titans we get the herba mystica what the oh it's just a terra battle right here that's the evolve form though right that's not marini right Oh, I bet you it is Marini. Wait, no, no. It's Toxapex, right? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, they're sparkling. Yeah, we got Toxapex right here. 37? Hello? Okay. Um, And we can't just try to throw a ball. We actually have to defeat it. I'll try to get this guy defeated, but this is not going to be easy. Okay, well, let's go for wing attack to start here. Let's see how much we do. Not very much. If they have recover, we are going to be here for a while. I'll just keep smacking with wing attack, I guess. Oh, liquidation. Ow! All right, guys. We got ourselves a real battle right here. I'm going to try to make it happen. Don't have recover. Do not have recover. As long as they don't have recover, we can make this work. But if they if they got that crud, we are in a juicy pickle. Who would be good against this? I guess Goose, because they've got a ground attack. I think Nikali would be better, but they're kind of not doing so hot right now. I see a Pokemon Center way off in the distance, but we are not there right now at all. You got this, Goose. That might one-shot me, though. It didn't. Okay, going for Bulldoze. Okay, that did not do very much at all, did it? I dropped their speed, though. Maybe I can go first? Yeah, there we go. Keep on dropping that speed. I think Toxpex is already very slow, though. And they just got rid of all the stat changes, so that is uh, not good because they're going to be fast again. Ah, oh, crud. 
Um, you know what? I'll try to go for Screech if I live. I'm dead. Screech would have been a much smarter move. I did not plan very far ahead, did I? You got this, Crafty. My only Pokemon still at full HP. I don't think we have to completely defeat them. I think we just have to get them low enough. Will I be slower than them? Um, I don't know. Let's try X's, or I don't think it's going to do very much. Okay, I am slower, so I should have gone for Assurance. Five HP left. Come on, big damage. That was very low damage. Okay, okay. But maybe, just maybe, they'll do something that won't hurt. Hmm. All right, they went for Haze. Now, Bullet Seed's not going to do very much either, but maybe it'll add up. Maybe I'll get five swings and it'll, it'll, it'll add out. It'll, it'll, it'll add up. Oh my gosh. The frame rate. It hurts. Can I, like, look at the floor to speed the game up? Oh, there we go. Yeah, if we look this way, instead of looking at the city, it seems to run a bit faster. Am I dead? No, they're going for Haze again, which is good. I mean, Bullet Seed is doing, like, one damage per swing, but, it, you know, it'll it'll add up if we get five. That's five damage. Okay, Crafty's a little bit destroyed right there. You know how it is. All right, you got this, Fiona. Do I want Fiona? Yeah, let's go for Fiona. I can go for that Slash. Maybe that'll actually be good here. Come on, big damage. There we go, critical hit. That might actually break the Terra. They do have Recover. That is what I was so worried about. Okay, we're going to have to go for Leer. We are going to have to go for Leer. Get that up there as much as I can. Get that defense dropped, and we'll see if we can make this work. They're going to go for Haze. They're removing my stat drops. How dare you? I guess we can't do that. We're going to have to go for Slash and just... I don't know how this is going to work. Cause we can't we can't do the defense drop strat because I got Haze. Well, if we just damage their HP, they got Recover. This is not a good battle right now. I guess the true strategy... No, I, I can't even boost my own Pokemon because I think Haze even removes stuff from my own guys. I don't know how we're going to do this, guys. Maybe a status effect? But I don't think I can get them with Poison because they're part Poison, right? They've gone for Haze like five turns in a row, so maybe we're getting lucky. Maybe they'll run out of Haze PP and then I can spam some Leer. Okay, so they went for Haze. They're low on HP. I'm thinking this might defeat the Terra. I don't think we actually have to kill them, right? Please, please. Break it! Break it! Yes! Okay, we broke it. Now we can actually capture them. Holy crud. Woo! This has been a doozy of a battle. If there was ever a time for Ultra Ball, I think now is that time. Let's get the city off the screen. Increase my frame rate. Please, dude. Just hold it down, B. Come on. Come on. Yes. No, dude. Stop putting the city on screen. I'm lagging, bro. They got Recover. I don't think that brings back the Terra, but I'm just going to... You know what, dude? I'm just going to chuck Great Balls over and over until it works. Nope. And now they're going to be even harder to catch at full HP. And the thing is, this is so slow with the with the frame drops that it's like taking a while just to like catch this guy. Watch, watch, watch how slow the ball wiggles. We throw it, and it's like slow motion ball wiggling right now. Okay, never mind. Not even not even a lot of wiggles right there. At least they're being nice and not hurting my guy. Dude, I take that back. They go for liquidation, and I'm dead. We don't have very many chances left. Oh boy, please. Please! Two! No! One wiggle. Two! Oh! I think that was a critical capture! Holy crud! Toxapex is ours! I don't know why they were being so nice to me and not using damaging attacks. Almost everyone's dead, but Picard got huge experience! Level 37 Marini- not Marini, Toxapex. Registered. This Pokemon lives within a dome made by its own legs. Toxapex monitors its surroundings by sensing the flow of the tide through its spikes. Wow. You don't even, you don't even get a nickname. Oh, not to the party, not to the party. All right, we got him. I gotta say, guys, so a lot of areas, they've had some frame drops, but this is the first time where it's been like, holy crud. Nikali is evolving? Yo, what the heck? Okay, at least we get a reward for this crazy battle. They were one of the only ones alive. I didn't even know if they were going to evolve, but holy crud, they turned into a bunch of cubes. Let's go. Knackle stack. Yes. Wow. Knackle stack, the rock salt Pokemon registered. This Pokemon dry cures its prey by spraying salt over them. The curing process steals away the body, the water in the prey's body. That is like really hardcore. Man, a lot of these Pokedex entries just keep talking about how we eat the Pokemon. Salt cure. Um... Yeah, let's check that out. The user's salt cures the target, inflicting damage every turn. Steel and water types are more strongly affected by this move. 
that is interesting. And we do have a Steel Titan at some point in the game. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I'm definitely going to get that. Do I want to get that over SmackDown, though? I don't think so. I think I'm going to get rid of Dig, and we'll let Dunsparce do the ground attacks. Not sure if that's the smartest move, but if I regret it, I can just swap it back to Dig. It's not a big deal there. Okay. But yeah, that was the first time the frame rate was, like, unpleasantly bad. But it's okay. We made it through. We're going to go ahead and grab the TM right here, Smart Strike. And I'm going to look around and uh, hopefully not run into any more battles because my team can't handle that crud. Got some Magikarps over here. What I really want to do is get to that Pokemon Center. We're in the East Paldean Sea. We should be able to get across. Very slowly get across here. We can just do the doggy paddle. Come on, Coridon. Though, do, do, do not attack right now. Okay, okay. I thought they were, like, starting to swarm me. Get ourselves, ooh, a nugget. That'll give us some more money for some more... Great balls and a rare candy. Very nice. We've actually got a pretty good collection of candies. Gyarados. I want to capture that so bad. Got a Wiglet right there, but I cannot I cannot do a battle with Gyarados with such low HP. Let's see if we can jump over the doggy paddle portion there. Okay, we're into East Province Area 2. I never did catch a Sandy Gas, did I? So essentially what we did, guys, is we did this area here, and then we went across like this. We checked out that little island, and now we're here. So we still need to go back up this area and check out all of this, I'm pretty sure. So we still have a lot to go before I'm ready to fully go on to this area over here. But I desperately want to heal. So what I might do is go up the beach and just make a straight shot for this Pokemon Center and then start doing all this crud. Because what we're going for is not the gym here. We're kind of going for the Starfall base. But maybe that's actually not what we should do. Maybe we should go for the gym. You know what, dude? Let's just take a detour. Let's go to the gym next. So let's work our way over there. I will come back for the Sandy Gas, though. I do want to capture that. And a Meryl, it looks like, as well. So we've definitely got some stuff I still want to capture. A gym guy or a, a trainer battle there to fight. But the Pokemon Center is in sight. We might as well go ahead and get this because we desperately need it. A uh, trainer right there as well. So we definitely still have some stuff to do here. Got a Crab Brawler back there. I don't think we can swim under a lot of this stuff, though. Super Potion. Very nice. Wow, we actually have, like, a lot of trainers in this area. But, yeah, we're going to skip all of them. We'll come back for them. But right now we're skipping all of them and getting our way to Levencia. Or Le Levencia. This looks like a pretty big city, which we are definitely not going to explore today. What I want to do today is go over here. I could talk to this guy, but I'm guessing he's going to say we have, like, zero in the area. Because we just ran past, like, four trainers. Um, yep, zero trainers. Yeah, so we'll get back to uh, those trainers here in just a second. I also see an item in the background. I just want to heal. Desperately. Okay, so I'm not going to go to the city quite so soon. Let me actually just take a quick map of where I want to go here. Hmm. Okay, so we got that. We'll save this area for later. So what we'll explore is basically everything in this little island right here. I think that's a good... Well, maybe not, because that's going to bring us back to here. So maybe what we should do is just explore our little nook that we have, then do the city and the gym, and then kind of work our way back through all this stuff. Man, we got so many ways we could tackle this. We got a Cyclozar on the map. What? Oh, my. Grimer? Oh, my. What is that? Is that? What the heck? What is that? I'm going to find out. But we got two Pokemon right here. What the heck is this? Tadbulb? <laughs> okay. Let's go smack him. Let's see if we can get this guy. Not bad. I mean, it's not very effective, but it still did a good chunk of damage. So we'll do one more of those. Not get those Flam Criticals that we get sometimes. And we'll capture this crawler. Ooh. 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 Registered. Tadbulb shakes its tail to generate electricity. If it senses danger, it will make its head blink on and off to alert its allies. So it is a little light bulb. Um, let's do... Uh, there we go. We got butt bulb. Let's send them to the boxes. You know what, guys? There is a lot of stuff still here to capture. But let's go do some Pokemon battles. We can capture more stuff in the future. We will capture all the things. But let's go ahead and put Nikali up front. They just evolved. I want to see them in battle. Let's just real quick check the Pokedex, see what rewards we got for all the stuff we have captured. We're up to 76 captures there. So let's go ahead and see what we get for 70. We get ourselves, it looks like 10 net balls, which probably would have been very handy for all those water Pokemon I just caught. All right. Let's get back out and let's get these trainer battles taken care of. Well, let's grab this pearl here. Uh, yeah, we got Nikali up front. I just really hope they don't have water Pokemon, considering we're on the beach here. I want to be like the wind and travel across the whole wide world. Uh, I've never thought about the wind that way, but I guess that makes sense. Backpacker Jonathan. 
I don't know, crud, about wind and how it works in real life, but does wind actually travel across the whole world? Like, the air particles or whatever the crud from one part of the world actually get to the other side? Or do they just kind of, like, push each other back and forth and they stay pretty close to each other? I have no idea, dude. Okay, let's go for Salt Cure. So I guess Salt Cure is better on water and steel Pokemon, but... Well, it sh still should do some good damage here. So I think what we do is we do that once, and now it will do damage every turn. So we do that one time, and then we go for different attacks afterwards. Ooh, they got Bullet Seed. That is going to hurt. Please, only two. No, dude, do not get five right now. Okay, they got three. Uh, we're going to go for... Man, I could go for Headbutt and hopefully get Quick Claw and then flinch them. But if they go and get... A bullet seed that gets five swings. It's actually going to knock me out right now. Or they could go for double kick. That is not going to hit as bad. Even though it's super effective still. We just have such good defense. We're fine. So we'll go for that headbutt. We'll see how much that does. Uh, not bad. So the salt cure will hurt them as well. Very cool. And we'll go for one more attack. And just hopefully not get hit by, <laughs> get hit by anything bad. Please do not get five. Do not get five right now. Oh my gosh. It's going to happen, isn't it? Well, four is fine. Okay, three is fine. Four is fine. I just don't want five. So we'll go ahead and smack this guy with one more headbutt. Take him down. This guy had a second Pokemon. I could keep my guy in and just go for a Super Potion thinking about it. Ooh, Stantler. You know what? Stantler is going to be a better battle for uh, probably Flam. We got the double kick there. The only problem is Flam is not full HP, but we'll be okay. Stantler does sometimes have psychic attacks, so that might hurt as well, but we'll see how it goes. Come on, Flam! Big damage! Yo, dude! Double kick gonna take out Stantler in one go. I'll take that. Alright, Fiona wants to learn U-Turn. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of Acid Spray, I guess, because our special attack is not very good. So I pretty much never use that anymore. And U-Turn can be pretty good, because we can use it to swap out. Why are the winds of fate always blowing against me? I... I don't know. Don't stare at me, Meryl. Where are some other trainers? Bring on the trainers! I think there was, yeah, this kid down here. I think there was another one down this way. Ooh, Pearl. Gotta get the sparkles. Okay, got the stardust. Come on, kid. I see an item over there as well. We'll get that. I want to be number one. So I think we got a tough battle right here. Oh, Crab Brawler, strolling on up. You can't get me now, buddy. I'm in a battle. So I guess, you know how each area kind of seems to have, like, the strong trainer? I guess Anus, the student here, is the strong trainer for the area. What the... That might be the evolved form of Nimble. That's what it kind of looks like. That is a cool Pokemon. But if it's a bug, then, uh, well, our rock attack is going to be fantastic here. And we get that Quick Claw. Dude, the Quick Claw comes in so handy sometimes. Let's go ahead and smack him. Big damage. Ooh, pretty good. Not super big, but I'll take it. Let's see what they go for here. Okay, they're going to go for U-Turn. So that kind of defeated my strategy with the uh, Salt Cure. We're not going to get bonus damage from that. Um, but they are going to go for Rufflet. That's kind of okay, because we'll be good against that with Rock as well. So I'll try again with the Salt Cure. I should probably go for Iron Defense. Okay, so I see what they're going for. They're spamming U-Turn back and forth. But the guy is coming in now, so I'm going to hit him with Salt Cure, and then he'll take the bonus damage. So this actually kind of works out. So yeah, Low Kicks is going to take some extra damage here. Salt Cure doesn't have the best base damage, but, uh, well, we'll take it. So essentially what I want to do now is go ahead and Iron Defense to try to survive this kind of onslaught they're doing here. Swapping back and forth like crazy. Let's see if I can get that. Okay, Quick Claw Iron Defense. So the U-Turn they do should do less damage. I'm, I am assuming they're going to do U-Turn, but it kind of seems likely. And it seems kind of funny that I'm fighting a trainer that's spamming U-Turn just after I learned U-Turn on Fiona. That's kind of cool. But I think I will still have to heal here. I apparently had 24 super potions, so I think we're totally fine just healing a little bit. All right, we're going to just do Smackdown since we're really not getting the hits too much out of Salt Cure. I don't know if Salt Cure hitting for the 40 base power and then getting only one bit of extra damage. I don't know if that does more or less than just going for Smackdown. Can't really say for sure, but we're going to smack this guy with some Smackdown. See how that does. That was pretty good. They fell straight down. Hooray! Let's go ahead and smack him again. Yeah, so they're going to go for U-Turn, which means we're actually about to defeat Low Kicks. Yeah, the whole U-Turn back and forth thing, it does counter some strategies, like, you know, getting set up with Salt Cure and some other things like that. But ultimately, the swapping back and forth is not really doing them much favor. So we'll go ahead and take this guy down. 
go right on back to Rufflet and take them down too. You know, I could have gone for Salt Cure right there because they actually can't swap now, but we'll see if SmackDown will just take him down anyways. It will, okay. So Rufflet goes down and I guess Nikali was able to solo the tough battle for the area. That's pretty cool. Dunsparce level 22, heck yeah. I guess maybe we can share being number one. Uh, no, I'm gonna be number one. You could be number two. So Crab Brawler trying to beat me up. I'm just gonna grab this great ball here. And you know what, guys? This episode might be a little bit short because that battle with Toxapex took so long and I probably edited it, a lot of it out, but I've been recording for a good while. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap things up here for today. We'll come back next time and you know what? I gotta decide if we're gonna wrap up some more of this area or if we're gonna go right to the city. We'll figure that out. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up for here for today. We'll come back next time and see what we do. I'll see you all then. Take care.